So today we wanted to show you uh, a little bit more of our drain maintenance work. And what happened here this week is we had our guys and our drain maintenance crew actually clean out this section of drain. We we're in Sterling Heights, sort of by the uh, 16 Van Dyke area, I guess you could say. We're back in a residential neighborhood uh, where this, this is a, a what they call a lateral drain that runs into the Sterling Relief Drain, which is a huge drain. Uh, and the Sterling Relief is sort of between 15 mile and 16 mile. It runs five and a half miles long and it has all these various laterals that feed into it uh, from all the, the major roads, right? Van Dyke and Shaner and <clears throat> Dodge Park, etc. But anyway, this particular lateral was totally overgrown. And you're looking at it now, you can't hardly believe it. But this thing was totally overgrown with all kinds of vegetation. Uh, and as well, it was full of litter, all kinds of debris. And so our drain crew went in here. We, you know, of course, we want to make sure we get the right elevation and everything here. But we cleaned out all the vegetation. And as well, we disposed of all the litter that was in here. And that is now resting peacefully, rest in peace, at a landfill. It's out of our drains. And uh, so everything that we do here is with an eye toward water quality. Because if you think about it, all of this drains, all of these drains, go somewhere. They just don't, you know, evaporate. They're draining, in this case, this is a lateral that's draining into the Sterling Relief Drain that eventually goes into the Clinton River that eventually goes out into Lake St. Clair. And so obviously we don't want all that litter going, that's one thing, but all this sedimentation as well is moving. Uh, and we don't really want all of that happening because it, you know, it dumps out into the Clinton River, out into the lake. And so by opening this all up, you really let Mother Nature do her thing, so to speak, because the, grand, the ground here is, uh, is sort of mucky, sort of soggy, and uh, it's able to uh, accommodate a lot of the flow. And we had a bit of rain uh, last night, I think, and what you can see now you can see a few leaves on the water here. This, this water is moving. This drain is working. It's working the way that it was designed to work. And it's very important to make sure, I think, I mean, I'm in the drain business. I'm the drain commissioner. So we're trying to make sure that our drains are working. And all of it, again, is toward a, uh, the goal is for water quality. But quite frankly, it's also to make sure that we're not having our neighborhoods flood because this was a particular subdivision in Sterling Heights that oftentimes the catch basins for the storm sewers and that just couldn't accommodate all of this. And uh, so, you know, it undermines the stability of the roadbed and uh, all kinds of bad things happen if the drains aren't flowing properly. So we're quite excited with this project and hats off to our drain maintenance guys who are working, working, working all the time. You don't see them all the time because this is not a thing that you would drive by but uh, it's important that, uh, that everything does work.